Hello, I'm Heather Harbin with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, March 8th. A woman is dead following a vehicle versus pedestrian tra traffic collision that occurred on Monday night. A 911 call came into the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station around 618 about a traffic collision on Haskell Canyon Road near Jeffers Lane in Saugus. The female pedestrian was transported to Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital where she succumbed to her injuries. Investigators are continuing to work to positively identify her. Deputies say the driver of the Honda Accord that was involved in the collision is being cooperative. The investigation is ongoing. West Ranch High School is one of 66 high school teams to compete in the 24th season of the Los Angeles First Robotics Competition. The 2016 challenge is played between two teams of three robots each. Each team's goal is to break through their opponent's defenses, weaken, and capture their tower. Employees with NASA's JPL, higher education institutes, and aerospace companies help teams solve, solve problems and tackle real-world engineering obstacles. The competition will take place over Friday, March 11th, and Saturday, March 12th at the Long Beach Arena. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Canyons Aquatic Club's Abby Weitzel breaks the American Women's 50 freestyle record. Plus, learn how to get a job this summer. Stay tuned. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, Circle of Hope was there. To help me with the doctor bills, with the medication costs. With the emotional support I needed to help me through it all. Circle of Hope supported me through my fight. With gracious hearts and complete gratitude. As Santa Clarita's only nonprofit breast cancer organization, Circle of Hope provides financial, emotional, and educational assistance to breast cancer patients who live, work, or receive treatment here in Santa Clarita Valley. 100% of your financial contribution will stay right here in the SCV. With your support, Circle of Hope is making a difference today for a brighter future tomorrow. Hey George, there's breaking news. AM 1220 KHTS, I'm George Cummings with breaking news here in the Santa Clarita Valley. As it turns out we have an emergency situation Let's going go. on. Ready in five, four. Breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley. There's an emergency situation happening in Saugus right now and our news crew is on the scene with more information. Welcome back, I'm Heather Harbin. Canyon Aquatic Club's Abby Weitzel is making history by breaking the American women's 50 freestyle record. Isaga's high grad has missed setting the record by a hundredth of a second earlier in the evening. Weitzel's posting a time of 21.12 at the American Short Co Course Championships smashed the record by a fifteenth of a second. The new record breaks Laura Jackson's record of 21.27 in 2009. Weitzel's win qualifies as the U.S. Open record, making her the fastest woman ever in the 50 freestyle in American history. Looking for a summer job? The City of Santa Clarita has partnered with the Santa Clarita WorkSource Center and College of the Canyons to host an SCV summer job fair this month. The event is scheduled from 9 to 12 on Saturday, March 19th at the Center. Confirmed employers looking for seasonal and summer jobs include Assesso, AMS Fulfillment, Bricks for Kids, Chick-fil-A, the City of Santa Clarita, CVS Health, Digifoto, Lowe's, Mountasia Family Fun Center, New Horizons, Bon Gusto, Outdoor Journeys, Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, Six Flags Magic Mountain, Valley Trail Summer Camp, Wiz Tutor, and the YMCA. The SCV Summer Job Fair will offer workshops including professionalism skills, interview tips, resume review, and application help. Job seekers must be 16 years of age or older and should come dressed to impress and have multiple copies of their resume available. Now turning to weather. Tuesday was a cool 68 degrees with overnight temperatures expected to drop into a low of 48. Wednesday is expected to be sunny with a high of 76 and winds of 15 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday night we'll see a low of 53 degrees. Clouds will begin to roll into the Santa Clarita Valley Thursday evening and rain, and rain is expected on Friday. The rest of the weekend will have a slight chance of rain. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Heather Harbin. Great job.